Well, part three, you know, I had this. This is a real deep. I've never done a three-part video, but this is real deep, man. You know what I'm saying? And I just got to get into this, man, for, you know, in the Ahmad Aubrey situation. This isn't like the a time. You remember the movie A Time to Kill um, with Samuel Jackson? You know, I'm going to use that. I use these things as an example because this is what people know about. In that movie, A Time to Kill, when that, that little girl, you know, and, and this was Samuel Jackson's daughter, and these white men just came, rolled down the street, stalked this little girl coming from the, the grocery store or wherever she was co wherever she was coming from. They took her and they brutally um, molested her and raped her and, and, and a whole nine and beat her up and damned her to death. Now Samuel Jackson came in and with his with, with his weapon and they was I think they was in court I forget or, or something like that and he came he killed those men shot them bang 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 boom blew you know killed the, you know killed them blew them to shit you know salute to him <laughs> but so in that and I say that to say in that situation what I you know that's what that's what you know will put the brothers up in arms. And I'm talking about every, you will have every black man, you will have every man, you know, calling for for their head, first of all, you know, but second, you know, if they didn't kill, if someone, and I mean, this should be handled first by the people's family. It should be, and I think this should that should be legal. If that were to happen, you know what I'm saying, then it would be real moves that black people should make. You know, not a bunch of talking and 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 arguing, or not a bunch of protesting. And no, not protesting. No, I'm talking about pulling your dollars, getting taken up arms. You know what I'm saying, um, putting real pressure on you know certain people and things like if that were the if this was a time to kill but like i said the first thing will happen would be the person the people the men of the family who related to that that man or woman who got violated like that would would have all carb lunch to go and you know and handle their business for lack of better you know and but then also like i said but we don't have a mobilization that's the problem we need to get organized <laughs> like malcolm x being saying we need to organize and police in our own communities first of all start pockets in our own communities have those policing pockets get to know everyone in your community the old ladies the kids get to know the cops in your communities have those pockets come in and then get together with the pockets over here in this city, in this city. That's basically what I'm trying, what we're trying to build here on YouTube. You know, I'm trying to link up with the brothers, the lions, the true men of God. Anyone who's trying to do God with their life and help out, they, you know, and truly help black people, you know what I'm saying, in the process. It's like, look, you know, we got to be in the truth, man. You know, and we can, my hub over here, link up with your hub, you know, and, and iron sharpens iron. You know, if you want to be a knucklehead, you know, we don't need to be dealing with you. But um, so, yeah, I say that to say that we need the clear cut cases. The cases have to be clear. They have to be clear cut. Like A.O. Like A.O. was saying, I said, I keep saluting A.O. Kaseko because that's like one of the most competent brothers that I've seen speak on it without being so emotional and, you know, and either one way or the other. You know, it's just about facts. And so shout to Lucas too, amazing Lucas. He, you know, it's it's about facts, man. You know, I'ma wait to, like I said, to more of this stuff comes out, to more information comes out before I just put final judgment. I'm just asking questions, and people can't even ask the qu answer the question without being so emotional, without trying to insult someone over, without deflecting, talking about some totally different. I am when you ask a direct question, they go all the way over here. Like, look, that's some, are you okay? Like, that's some remedial stuff. Like, you getting asked, people are asking direct, direct questions. We need to find these things out. People, some people are just like, look, I don't care what the hell happened. It don't even matter. You know, white supremacy, black man did, you know, that's it. Like, you know, lock them up, throw away the key. It it don't even matter what, you know, what was going on. 
And that's not actually necessarily the case. Not in Georgia. Like, and you got to pay attention to where you're at. Laws where you're at. That's not necessarily the case. Like, on a misdemeanor, if you sus if you see them doing it, you know what I'm saying, then you can pursue them. So, it's going to be, and I know people are going to be like, well, he didn't take nothing, he didn't do that. But he had been in the crib four different times that wasn't his. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what, you know, that's enough of suspicion is what they're going to, you know, try to, that's, I'm just telling you the way that they're going to go. I'm not Nostradamus, but that's the position that they're going to take. And then, you know, of course we know the position, you know what I'm saying? That, uh, his lawyers is going to, that Omar's lawyers is going to take. It's going to just basically, you know, that's what they have to prove. So we're going to see. But this is not the situation of a time to kill, man. You know, where, like I said, they just was looking for a random black to kill. And they chose him and just, you know, and and provoke the situation. Like, yeah, sure. Like I said, citizens arrest, they provoke a situation. But look, which I guess it really to me, you should only be able to do forget citizens arrest really is a bunch of bullshit. You should just do away with it. And but if you see someone being attacked or something like that, you should, you know, jump in and defend them and you know and, and I'm gonna be honest, like I got I got uh, you know, I I got neighbors and things like that and I'm not gonna front. Like my grandma used to always say this. She was thankful for nosy neighbors. Because and so am I. Because if a if a person is is on is is on my property or or something that I own or is in my rummage like peeping through my stuff like on some Friday stuff, I want my neighbors to tell me, man. You know, I want and and not only that shit. I wouldn't mind my neighbors calling the laws, man. I wouldn't mind that call them. For me, but you don't. I mean, necessarily, I'm not gonna I'll fault you for not going over there and and holding them at gunpoint and and trying to to hold them. It's not your stuff, so I'm not gonna fault. I don't expect you to do that, you know. But to be watchful and mindful, yeah, just call the laws, man. Call them. But the citizens arrest shit is bullshit, and you finding that out now too, because this is what uh, what you get. You know, unfortunately, this was a situation that happened with a black and a white man. But, I mean, between blacks and whites. But see, like, I was watching a lawyer, um, um, and he was actually saying that in these cases, see, in, in Cohen's, and basically um, validating what I'm saying about crying wolf. And this was a white lawyer, but he was like, he handles these cases all the time, a lot. Well, not all the time, but a lot. And and these some of these cases are true. Like, you do have cases of flat-out racism, you know, race hate crimes. And he was like, but these types of, when, when you, and I'm not saying this is one of those situations that muddy the waters. We'll wait in, but right now, we're, it seems that way, and we're going to wait and see. But when you have situations where people jump to conclusions and things like that, it muddies the waters and make it hard for him to even get convictions of those true cases. And that's and that's a bad thing. We need to stop that because you're hindering. Now you're hindering real people to get justice. And that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. See, this is what human beings be doing. Y'all need to get in tune with the most high. You understand? So with that being said, well, I'm just going to wait and see more. You know, we're going to wait and get some more facts and evidence. But it's your man, Nico B. Black Effect. I'm out of here. Part three, baby. We got it done. I mean, good Lord. I, I didn't want to do this video that long. Pardon me. I mean, pardon me, like, for, you know, I didn't want to do three part a three-part video. I know I, I, I usually, and people probably, if y'all still tuned in to part three, you know, salute to y'all for being smart and things like that. But man, I didn't want to do a video this long, but you know, it's like I said to his, to my Aubrey's family, you know, y'all are in my prayers, you know, no one wants to lose a son or brother or mother, anything like that, you know, but at the end of the day, we never know, you know, when it's up to the most high, it's up to God when, you know, we never know when he's, when he makes these decisions and things like that. But all right, I'm finna end this. It's your man. He could be, y'all be blessed. I'm out of here.